Black bear are one of the most dangerous of the big game animals in North America, probably second only to grizzlies in the danger they pose for humans. Throughout the United States, bear license sales have been on the increase, and the demand for guides and outfitters has also been up. The top northern states for bears include Wisconsin, New York, Minnesota, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Now, the bear season in Pennsylvania, by the way, lasts only one day, and for this hunt, nearly 100,000 licenses are sold. This year, almost all the states that have bear seasons report good populations of black bear, and our Canadian reports show that some provinces have above-average populations due to under-harvesting in recent years. For my money, bear meat is tops, but it should be dressed and frozen the same day. For white-tailed deer, there's no way to predict the season other than calling it a barn burner in nearly all, all parts of the United States. From Florida to Maine and west to Texas and Wyoming, deer have shown amazing adaptability in recent years, and their populations have skyrocketed in many regions. Record harvests are expected in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Missouri, Nebraska, and Ohio. No state is suffering from a lack of whitetails. For best chances, it's North Dakota. Over 60% of the hunters took bucks last year. Texas always produces the most whitetails, and the provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta are looking to produce lots of big whitetails this season. In 1989, white-tailed deer, in a nutshell, are super abundant. Deer hunters in the northern continental United States, especially the eastern half, are used to having the heck scared out of them by a noisy, close, flushing, roughed grouse. It's a bird of the aspen stands and cedar swamps, it feeds on acorns, apples, and wild cherries, which are in pretty good supply across their range. Thorn apples attract grouse, too. And throughout their range, the 1989 prospects are very good. Minnesota is approaching its cyclical 10-year high with a 10 to 20% increase expected this year. Wisconsin says its drumming survey information from this spring shows populations are high in all but the central forest region. So overall, excellent hunting should await ruffed grouse hunters this fall. For the table, the delicate white mead of a ruffed grouse makes it the king of woodland game birds in many hunters' books. A woodcock is a much smaller bird with a long bill found in similar cover the, where you find the ruffed grouse. Now, they like wet areas because they eat a lot of earthworms, which some people blame for the stronger flavor of woodcock. But it all depends on how you cook them. Now, like duck, if they're overcooked, they'll be strong. They're about the size of a dove. They migrate like doves following flyways from north to south. Along the eastern seaboard, from Maine to New York and on south, the loss of wetland habitat ca catches the blame for declining woodcock numbers, but in the central flyway, the population is holding its own. Remember, woodcock are migratory, so to hunt them, your gun must be plugged for three shells only. Look for a high water table near Aspens. That's where you'll find the woodcock. Rabbits are abundant across the United States. Well, actually, they're not all rabbits, technically. Jackrabbits in the west and snowshoes in the north are actually hares. Their young are born with fur. Now, the cottontail rabbit has young that are hairless. They're the real rabbits. Their claims to fame are that they taste delicious, especially fried, and they reproduce almost continuously. So rabbit and hare seasons are liberal around the country. In Kansas, you can hunt rabbits 365 days a year with a limit of 10 per day. Numbers are high around the country. No widespread disease outbreaks reported this year. But rabbit fever or tularemia is always a concern until the first freeze hits for a couple of days. After that, any sick rabbits will be gone and hunters can confidently prepare their rabbits for the table. And boy, are they good almost as good as squirrels. Now, I really shouldn't say that, but in the past couple of years, we've prepared some terrific squirrel recipes on this show, and I've grown terribly fond of squirrel. Several varieties are popular with hunters. Gray squirrels in the south, uh, black squirrels, and the larger fox squirrels in the north. And like rabbits, they're terribly abundant, and if they aren't taken by hunters or hawks and owls, only about 15% survive the winter anyway. That's at least in the north. The freezing temperatures eliminate many squirrels in their leafy nests in the trees. Missouri's squirrel season opens the end of May. Kansas is June 1st. Nebraska opens early August. Throughout the country, squirrel season generally opens early and is among the last to close with a good season coming up. 
Now let's take a break from the good news in wildlife populations to talk about the dark side. That's waterfowl, especially ducks. Mallards, blacks, and pintails are all at rock bottom levels. Land development takes a toll each year, and the drought of 88 really clobbered the reproduction of ducks. And the decline of ducks, along with the resulting shorter seasons, reduced bag limits, and more complex regulations, has reduced the number of sportsmen hunting ducks. Duck hunting regulations are in tune with duck numbers, though, which means that they're severely cut back all over the country. Geese are a bright spot, however, and expanded seasons to reduce the numbers of local nuisance geese are found in some states. Ducks are down, though, and at least that'll hold for the fall of 1989. Now, the most puzzling wildlife species on the hunting scene is pheasants. Ring-neck numbers are dwindling east of the Mississippi, except for isolated local pockets, while the west side of the Mississippi, a number of states are standouts, Iowa and South Dakota, to name two. Kansas wasn't as good as expected last year, but it's a far cry better than any of the eastern states. Michigan's experiment with the black-neck Sichuan pheasant from China holds some promise for the eastern states, but huntable numbers aren't available yet. For dyed-in-the-wool pheasant hunters, Go west, cross that big river, and you'll find the best pheasant hunting available in the United States. Now, they taste as good as ever. The problem is they're more difficult to find than ever. The biggest of America's big game, the elk, is already being pursued by hunters in some western states. Colorado offers the most available elk hunting permits. Drawings and advanced applications are required in many states. Last year's Yellowstone fire on the heels of a bad winter temporarily cut back Wyoming's elk herd. But like most wildlife, the elk have bounced back and are flourishing with high reproduction. Game laws and game management paid for by hunters' dollars for the reason we can look for another good, regulated hunting season across the country in 1989.